Question from the Modern Divorce Support Group. This question comes from an Arizona resident. This is probably going to be a divisive issue. Please be kind though. I wanna keep my kids as kids. I know I have zero say on the parenting choices the other parent makes on their time. However, is there a way for me to have it added that the kids are not allowed to cook dinner more than once a week? Or that the kids can't be made to do all of the household work? Right now, my ex is bad about having the kids microwave or grab, quote, something easy, end quote, or making them cook dinner for everyone every time they are there. They also do all of the dishes, laundry, sweeping, mopping, etc. for the house. The kids are teens and preteens and do have regular chores here, like garbage, keeping their rooms clean, their dishes, their laundry. They have said that they do every single thing that the other parent's house needs. Also, is there a way for me to add unacceptable punishments to the orders. He has been known to have them exercised to the extreme when they are, quote, in trouble, end quote. I'm talking about 300 squats, 200 push-ups, or 50 burpees. I'll be asking my lawyer as well, but I want to get an idea. Am I asking too much? Be kind. This is new. My first divorce. Hello, my name is Billy Tarasio, Arizona family law attorney. So you're going through a divorce um, right now, I think. And that matters because you know your ex. You know your ex. Your ex is probably behaving now the same way that he behaved when the two of you were together. So did he have them do 300 squats, 200 push-ups, or 50 burpees? Like, is that something you've ever seen? Because it sounds incredibly extreme. And if that is real, that is a problem. Is it a problem that he's having them do, quote, excessive chores? I think this is going to be a hard one. But if your teens are preteens and teens, there will become a point in time where they say, I don't want to be with my dad anymore. I don't want to spend time with him because all we do is chores. And at a certain point in time, their, their opinion really, really matters. I also wonder how much time he's actually spending with the kids. Like, how often are your kids there? The other thing I want to mention, many people in the divorce support group just said there's nothing you can do about what happens at dad's house. And that is both true and not true. There's a lot you can do to influence what happens at the other parent's house through family court's oversight. So the fact is that many parents behave better when they know they are in family court because they know that if a judge is going to be looking at their discipline techniques or their parenting techniques or making a, a decision about where the kids go live, they're going to try harder and they're going to do better. And I think you can use that to your advantage. So you could write an email to dad saying, the kids have reported that they're doing all of the chores in your house. Now that sounds like probably not legit, right? I don't know. I don't know your family, but if my kids came home and said that, I'd be like, mm-hmm, sure. There's just no way. And that would have happened when we were married. So you would have a heads up. So is this behavior completely new um, or not? The details matter. The nuance matters. If, But by sending emails, kind of documenting what's going on, documenting your concerns, asking for an explanation, dad is going to have to kind of rethink his behavior. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about family law, feel free to leave them in the comments below and we'll do our best to provide answers. If you're in Arizona and need legal help, don't hesitate to contact us at Modern Law. If you're looking to represent yourself, we have free resources available at Win Without Law School. You can also join our Modern Divorce Support Group on Facebook for community support. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.